Hey Water Signs, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here for your weekly reading. We're going to be looking at the messages you need to hear. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and we'll see what comes up here for you for the week ahead. So before I begin this reading, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and if you did want to become a channel member, you can do so. That's going to give you access to member-only content uh, and any extended versions as well. And if you did want a private reading, I am currently accepting those. So please feel free to be in touch. Otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up for Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the week ahead. Okay, Cancer, you've come up. The Chariot, victories on your side, progressing and pushing forward with the situation here. Very nice. Okay, there's definitely a new romantic chapter or a renewal that's coming up in the cards. It may involve a fellow Cancerian. We also have Aries here as well. A uh, bit of Earth energy. So some of you dealing with an Earth sign, I feel a Taurus Capi Virgo. This person is coming through as well. Okay, I like where this is going because I feel like the magician, you're in a uh, vibration where you're manifesting a lot. So, for example, I feel like whatever you've been thinking about or visualizing, you're in an energy where you're attracting it. So, I wouldn't be surprised if what you've been sort of putting out there um, in your imagination and putting out there to the universe, respectively, is attracting wonderful things. I definitely see a new emotional chapter here for a lot of water signs. Um... And I really feel like you're overcoming something huge in your life romantically. And I feel there's success around this as well. Let's see what else comes up. Okay, Cancer, you've come up a couple times as the moon and as the chariot. Okay, interesting. The fantasy card is literally above the magician. That is no coincidence. Okay, I do feel like there's some questions, okay? There's some things you've been sort of wondering about, like it's something very specific that maybe you keep imagining or you're very curious about, but you don't know the answers to, and you find yourself more and more curious to find out answers, okay? So you may find yourself thinking about things more and more and more. Um, obviously, I feel like this has something to do with overcoming your emotional state with the chariot card so i feel like this curiosity is going to lead you to something now it could be to a particular person it could be to a romantic chapter um, it could lead you to a particular conversation it could lead you to reaching out i feel like this curiosity is going to lead you to somewhere here and i feel like destiny is at play here for you water signs because there is something new coming into your life it could be a second chance with the person. It could be a new connection entirely. Um, but I feel like there is a divine masculine or divine feminine person who's already next to you, meaning you guys are already connected. Like maybe you used to date this person or you have each other on social media or your family, friends, or you live in the same neighborhood, the same apartment building. There is some sort of existing connection that exists between the both of you. I do want to mention for some of you, the past is going to come back in. And I feel like for some of you, you haven't released it. The Ace of Cups can be like release of emotion. So for some of you, you haven't released a past person because you still want to manifest them. If that's what you're wanting to manifest, I feel like there's some good news coming your way because this person may pop up back into your life and you may sort through things together. The Chariot is like, looking at all your old issues, overcoming all these other dramas that just don't matter anymore in the grand scheme of things. I feel like the magician, the queen of pentacles is telling me perception is everything. And it's amazing if you look at things differently, how things appear differently to you. You know, if you're going to look at things with hope and positivity and creativity they're obviously going to be different if you're looking at something and you're feeling hopeless and pessimistic and angry like your emotions really dictate how you perceive this person this connection this scenario so i feel like that's a good thing for you to remember this week um 
but I feel like someone may be coming into the picture here needing your help or water signs. You can be some of the kindest uh, people in the zodiac, let me tell you. Like, in my personal experience, the water signs that have been around me in my life and that are around me in my life are literally the sweetest, most caring, most kind, most sentimental people. And like, I feel like someone's activating that energy within you. And I think it's a good sign. I do. Um, I feel like the moon is like this motherly energy. So I feel like there's someone here you sort of want to mother or you want to look out for, you want to take care of. Now it's saying a lot here. Um, I feel like that's saying a lot of what you're willing to do for this person. I also feel like a conversation about settling down or moving in together is coming up for a lot of you couples watching. Um, even if you haven't been with this person for long, I feel like there's someone who is wanting something traditional. Queen of Pentacles is all traditional. We've got the Ace of Cups. So you're going to have someone come in who's ready to settle down, who wants kids, who wants marriage, who wants to move in together. Like They'll want things very quickly, um, especially if this is a new connection. They're going to want things to happen very quickly with you. They're probably going to fall in love with you. Maybe they're already falling in love with you and vice versa. I mean, that's exciting in itself, isn't it? But yeah, I feel like you're in an energy where you're manifesting. The Ten of Pentacles can be like um, family. So this is like family, meeting the future in-laws, getting in touch with your ex's family, for example. Somehow family and this person are connected romantically. Could also be like starting a family together or talking about having kids already. But I do feel like Six of Pentacles, someone's going to come up to you for help. Um, water signs could be someone new could be an ex could be someone who has a crush on you and hasn't revealed it and they're going to need your help it could be financially they may need help working through their past they could need help working through an addiction they could need help with money i'm seeing money um there could be someone who's got money issues car troubles repayments debts and they're gonna want you to help them out because they know you're gonna pull through for them that's why if they didn't they wouldn't approach you um, but they feel like you're reliable. So I feel like if you look at it from their side, again, perception, it shows they see you as someone super reliable. They see you as someone that can, that they can fall back on. They see someone like you as like a ride or die. Like that's, that speaks volumes in itself. So I think that's a very good sign. I do. Um, I think for others, you might be questioning the past, like, you might be questioning whether you made the right decision about a past relationship, about an ex, you know, this, this moon card's coming up. You might be questioning new things about this new person in your life going, are they good for me? I wonder what they would be like today. Mm, you know, are they my cup of tea? Like you're questioning things before you jump back into them or before you jump into them for the first time. So that's probably a healthier way of looking at things rather than rushing in. Um, you know, we all do it. We all get carried away with emotions and infatuation and love and, and we want things and we, we're super impatient. But sometimes you don't realize how it comes across to our person. You know, sometimes we need that little bit of a lesson or a wake up call. Um, and it happens to all of us at least sometime or another. You know, we're only human. Um, but I feel like that's coming up for you in the week ahead. So I'm going to leave it there. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thank you for watching and we'll be in touch very soon. Ciao for now.